How you guys doing? Chris Ignato here. Um, well, this video is going to be interesting to you. It's about a camel cricket, which people also call sprickets and uh, sprockets and things like that because it looks like a cross between a spider and a cricket. Uh, but they're actually a type of cape cricket. And uh, I'll talk more about it when you see it. It's an awesome species. Pretty impressive. You can see how it gets its name, camel cricket, because it's got that arched back. But its most common name is a cave cricket because it's a type of cave cricket. Some of them are this color, some of them are like a light gray. Look at this antenna. All the way out to here. So often when it feels a predator or something coming by in the dark, it jumps towards it to startle its, its predators, basically. You know, you're not used to your prey jumping at you, are you? So when that happens, it often scares you away. Uh, but it also allows it to feel its way around in the dark, and I'm pretty sure it helps it find prey if need be. And you can tell it's a male because it has two Circe sticking out the back. If it was a female, in the middle of those two Circe, there would be a long ovidepositor curved upwards. Hopefully I'll find one of those, but that'll have to be a future video. Look at those giant femurs and tibias, okay? Obviously this is a hopping insect, okay? It is a cricket, and you can see those long antenna used for feeling their way around in the dark. It is a nocturnal hunter. Um, well, it's actually an omnivore. Okay, this creature does feed on vegetation, but it also hunts. It'll feed on anything that it feels like fitting in its mouth. It's an opportunist. It capitalizes on whatever food's available at the time. Look at that face, okay? And you've got those little finger-like appendages, which are modified front legs, once again, from way back. So they're pretty cool, aren't they? You know, um, let me know if you've seen them before and what you guys call them where you live. Anyhow, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Once again, Chris Ignato, signing out.